so the Ambadi's uh, administration will be closing down the headquarters of companies that fail to pay up their tax. That will be by this time on, on Monday. Uh, Lagos is Nigeria's biggest economy. It's the home to the biggest banks, the big construction companies, the uh, media houses as well, uh, including uh, firms that are in the advisory, even tax ones like uh, Deloitte Nigeria. That's where Yomi Lubinro uh, is from and he's uh, with us this morning. Uh, it's, thank you for, for sticking around. Uh, so, uh, who is the really uh, the Ambadi government targeting to start shutting down from next week Monday? All right, so, um, well, I think the target... And why? Well, I think the net is, um, is being uh, extended to all multinationals that are in, uh, operating within the state, uh, but they are not uh, up to date with their, with their tax obligation. But there's a specific mention in the Finance Commissioner's press release of banks particularly. So banks. Banks. So I, I suppose the, the, the focus will be more or less um, withholding taxes from, from uh, interest paid to individuals. That's supposed to be payable to uh, the state tax authority where those individuals are, are, are resident. So there's a specific focus on Banks, but of course, it's not limited to just uh, the financial institutions. So, just about any multinational operating in the country who isn't uh, up to date with its uh, tax uh, obligations. Why Lagos? Why is Lagos doing this at this time? Any idea? Lagos should do it at, at, at all of the time. So, and it's not just Lagos State. So, I think one of the things that even the federal government is capitalizing on uh, in this year, 2018, because there's no, there's no proposed change in, in, in tax rates. So, the only thing that we can do to get 7% um, uh, more than we plan to get in 2017 uh, because at, at, at the 1.42, we're like 7% more than we planned by the federal government in, in, in 2017. So the only way to do that uh, without increasing rates is to broaden the net, you know, so to improve compliance and... and, and, and so it's it. fair. Yeah, it's so, fair. So it's fair to say the Buhari's administration is not increasing tax. No, it's not increasing tax. But so saying it, pay... Pay the right amount of taxes. Is it easy to pay tax? It's, ease it's, of paying tax? It's, I, I, we talk about ease of doing business. So how easy it is to pay tax? Pay well, your tax. It's, it's, um, I think, first of all, uh, we, we need to see it as an obligation. So um, I don't think anybody will find it easy to part with money. But if you understand that this isn't, you know, uh, in, in the real sense of, uh, of, of it, your money, it's a proportion of, you know, uh, that business income that's supposed to be paid over to, to, to the tax authority. And if you look at all of the elements, not all taxes are income taxes. You pay VAT. VAT, for example, is the collection from those who have bought your services and goods, and you remit it to the, uh, to the tax authority. That isn't your own money. If you pay withholding taxes, withholding taxes isn't your own tax. You deduct it from service providers and vendors and pay it over to the government. If you're paying employees PAY taxes, that isn't the business tax. It is a tax from the folks that work with you. So, but what you have is that uh, you have taxpayers who have collected this money, VAT, uh, withholding taxes, employees PAY, and failed to remit. To and the that's government. where uh, the, the, that's the, the, where the, the government is going. Correct. That if you deduct my from your salaries, your pay, whatever it is, you need to pay that. You need to remit that money. That's uh, correct. So, that's, so that's where really is that where the biggest problem is, Yomi. That's 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 one of our issue. That's one of our issue. The, the the level of compliance is still very low. It's still very low. By corporate organizations. By by virtually everybody. Um, just about two million corporate taxpayers are within the net, and there are a lot more millions of businesses that are registered uh, with CAC that are not tax registered. We don't have up to 15 million naira taxpayers in the country. That's still low, right? So, and that's why the, the few who are within the net get harassed, you know, every now and then. And until we actually broaden the net, uh, make it easy for everybody to uh, willingly and voluntarily comply by being transparent, by making the process easier, that's the only time that we're going to get there. Uh, I'm sure uh, you guys at Deloitte, Nigeria, uh, do tax advisory. Uh, you always, I think you're always the first to pay tax. With, uh, absolutely. So it's, it's, uh, you, it's you, a you, social, you know, it's you know a social it responsibility that you, you we know, you, know how, you know how it works. Uh, but again, uh, let's sit down together some other time and continue the conversation. We appreciate your time here. No, the, the pleasure is the mine. The man Thank who you. is called the tax professional, Yomi Luguero, a partner and West Africa tax leader at uh, Deloitte, Nigeria. So in case you haven't paid, uh, Monday next week, there's going to be a lot of shut doors in Lagos. Be around the news. Channel Television will be on the street covering, find out who's pay and who's getting shut down. Let's talk about news after this. Have a great day, everyone.